Here's a twist for you. The copper mining industry, which did devastating environmental damage to Butte, could now be essential to the green industry in improving the environment. Copper is essential to combating uh, climate change. We're, we're mining the solution to climate change right here in Butte, America. Electric cars, windmills, and solar panels require large amounts of copper wiring, creating a demand for what is sometimes called red gold. Montana Resources reports copper selling for more than $4 a pound in recent years, and prices are expected to rise. So what we're seeing in the current markets is the supply, the projected supply of copper going down and the demand increasing exponentially. The Wall Street Journal recently reported that by 2031, electrification is expected to increase the annual demand for copper to 40.3 million tons. But the forecasted output by then is estimated at just 33.1 million tons, a shortfall of 7.2 million tons. Montana Resources expects large mines around the world are quickly depleting their resources and smaller mines will have to make up for the slack. Mines like Black Butte Copper and White Sulphur are going to become what's going to supply copper in the future. Butte's early mining industry was so polluted it turned the city into the largest Superfund site in the country. A consent decree was recently signed and a major cleanup is underway and Montana Resources is a part of that. You can't, you can't hold what we do today accountable to what was done in the past. We are among the highest regulated industry in the country. Butte will benefit from the increased copper prices since Montana Resources pays as much as $10 million in annual taxes to the city. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News.